The nature of investigations by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations when scrutinizing transactions between Deputy Chief Justice Phenomena Mwilu and Imperial Bank Limited over alleged failure to pay stamp duty has come to haunt the Director of Public Prosecution's bid to prosecute Mwilu. Ruling by a five-judge bench comprising of Justices Helen Omondi, Mumbingogi, Francis Tuyot, William Musioka and Chacha Mwita, the court quashed criminal proceedings against Mwilu, saying the DCI violated Mwilu's right to privacy in obtaining its evidence. But having found, however, that the DCI illegally obtained evidence against the petitioner by gaining access to her accounts with IBL through the use of a court order that had no bearing on her accounts, and having found that the DCI thereby misrepresented facts and misused the court order, we have come to the conclusion that the prosecution against the petitioner cannot proceed. On the counts relating to the abuse of office against the DCJ, the court said the matter ought to have been presented to the Judicial Service Commission as it was within the scope of judicial duties. In light of Article 54, the conduct of the DCI was irredeemably Broke, broke, has irredeemably broken the foundation on which the criminal case against the petitioner was built. And the petition, petition must to that extent succeed. A declaration be and is hereby issued that the evidence underpinning the intended prosecution of the petitioner in Nairobi Chief Magistrate <coughs> Court SEC Criminal Number 38 of 2018 Republic versus Philomena Mbete Mwilu and Stanley Muluvi Kima was illegally obtained in a manner that was detrimental to the administration of justice. B, an order of certiorari, B and is hereby issued to quash the criminal proceedings in Nairobi Chief Magistrate's case number 38 of 2018 already referred to. The judges, however, said the DPP's decision to commence criminal proceedings against Mwilu did not violate the Constitution, saying no material evidence was presented to support claims that the DPP and the DCI were acting in the interest of that parties. The DCJ had argued that the investigation into her alleged criminal offences ought to have been investigated by ESCC and not the DCI accusing the two agencies of being used to remove her from office. The court, however, dismissed claims by the DCJ that her arrest was not conducted within the law, saying even senior judicial officers are not immune to prosecution. The DPP has, however, maintained that he will move to appellate court to challenge today's ruling. We are sending the JSC immediately for further action while we pursue an appeal on the other grounds that they, 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 they clearly stated were criminal in nature. So you will be, um, as ODPP, will be filing uh, a complaint to the JSC on her conduct and at the same time appealing on this ruling that was issued today. Thank you. <clears throat> In the case, Mwilu moved to the High Court to challenge a criminal prosecution by the Director of Public Prosecution for allegedly obtaining execution of a security belonging to Imperial Bank through false pretense. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.